What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. As you guys know, traveling to Atlanta for the Lake Lanier tournament. I've been grinding all morning, guys. I've been working my butt off. It has been insane. All day I've just been grinding, 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 working, 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 getting everything done. And now we're about to leave for Atlanta. So I gotta go pick up Oakley, or actually gotta go downtown, do a few th things, run a few errands, and then I'm going to be picking up my fishing partner, Oakley, from his house. Then we're gonna be heading right to Atlanta. And as you guys know, the boat's not with me. It's actually already in Atlanta because I was getting it fixed. So I don't have to tow that bad boy. So thank God that's gonna be a lot better. The drive's gonna be a lot, lot better. So I got everything packed up. Gonna run downtown, do some stuff for class, and then go pick up Oakley, and we'll be on our way. Let's go ahead and get it. Oh, I think we are good to go, guys. I think, am I good, am I good? Close this door right here. All right. Let's put this up one. All right. Oh, the light turned off. All right. Kitchen's all good. Yep. Living room's all good. Yep. I got to get those out of here. Those are actually the TV boxes from those TVs that have been here for a hot minute. These need to go to bye bye. Um, but let's go ahead. Get this trip rolling, guys. So excited, so pumped, but this day isn't even close to being over. Doors and windows on. Motions on. All right, turn off the fan. The TV is not off. Time, guys. Time to go. The truck is slam packed, guys. Look at all this. Got all my stuff I need. That's workout stuff. Shoes. I got uh, my suit right there. I also got a few jerseys. I got backpack, computer, homework, everything I need. Clothes, rods, let's go. I just forgot one super important thing that I cannot forget. I almost forgot a few fishing boxes. Now we're on with our day. I'm so excited to document this series because I haven't done one of these in a while. And I'm pretty much gonna be documenting every single day going up to the tournament because I wanna show you guys, you know, everything that it takes to prep, to prep for a tournament and everything it's gonna take. So I'm gonna run, grab some gas real quick because I am literally almost out. Like I said, run downtown, then grab Oakley, then we'll be on our way. It's uh, the reason, it's already pretty late right now. And the reason I'm leaving kind of late is because I don't want to hit Atlanta traffic right when, you know, everyone's getting out of work and everything is just going to be chaotic. So that's the reason why I'm leaving pretty late right now. And I had a lot going on. I had to get a lot of homework done and I'm having to run some errands right now because I'll tell you here in a minute. Filling up this bad boy right now. So I kind of want to rant on something real quick that's just very, very dumb. So I, as you guys know, I preach be the best that you can be at everything that you're doing, anything that it is in your life, and be the best that you can be at it. One goal that I set for myself that I get a 4.0 every single quarter here at school, and I have all great grades. I usually don't talk about my grades, but I have all A's right now and one B, which is like an 89. It's just pretty much an A. It's just right on the money. So... I have a project due for this class Wednesday, which is tomorrow. I finished this whole project Sunday, and I went into class Monday and I said, you know, I finished this whole project, I'm not gonna be here Wednesday because of a tournament. And she's trying to tell me that, even though I already turned the assignment in, the assignment's already turned in, finalized and everything, I'm actually going to print it off right now, and she's trying to say, that it won't count. She's saying it won't count because you won't be here to critique your project so they, a whole other class can look at it. And I'm trying to tell her like, I'm literally going to college for school and also fishing, like equal amount on both sides because obviously I'm, the only reason I'm at this school is because I got a scholarship. The scholarship literally gives me money towards school. So, and with that being said, it's to be on the fishing team and it's to get the grades. And the teacher really doesn't understand that I have to go out of town on Wednesday. And I just don't get it. It's really, really stupid because I literally spent eight hours on Sunday on that project. I worked from eight in the morning all the way to 12 at night on two different projects. And just for a teacher to say something like that is just really messed up. Some dude just stopped me and was like, are you a sprinkler company? Because my title sponsor logo is so big on the side of my truck that literally I get asked that all the time. And I'm like, no, man, I'm not. 
I'm sorry about that. I'm like, I can, uh, I can get you uh, hooked up with the sprinkler company though. It's just one of my sponsors. That's just hilarious. Like so many times, like people come up to me and ask me like, if I'm a sprinkler company or like if one of my sponsors is actually me, like I wear Lucky Tackle Box t-shirts all the time and people think that I'm actually like Lucky Tackle Box. It's just hilarious. Also, look at all the work that they're doing here. There's a Publix right there that they just, they're, they're building right now. And I couldn't tell you, they, they literally made that so quick. That is ridiculous. Like I'm, I'm very impressed. They put, I know it's hard to see, but that right there, that's a Publix and it's not open yet, but literally they just started building it like a month ago, if that, and is already almost done. Yeah, for 20 bucks for about five. Oh, shit, sorry. That's what we Yeah. Day one, practice. I'm very early. Getting ready to leave the house, go out on the lake. Um, it's pitch black outside right now. Very tired, we're gonna get this grinding. Um, wanna make sure to be on the water, you know, when the sun's coming up. Be sure to get off the water when we have to. So, we're gonna get a lot, a lot of stuff done today. I'm just gonna eat some quick breakfast right now and then we should be good to go. So at the boat right now, getting everything ready to go out on the water, me and Oakley are here. My dad actually came because uh, my boat has, not my boat, my truck, he's got to take my truck to the shop to get uh, my train horn fixed on it. So he's going to do that. So we're actually hooking up the boat to his truck and dumping it in the water. Um, I'm very excited. Me and Oakley are going to go out there and try to put something together and hopefully it'll be good. You know, I haven't been out here in a while. It's super cold. It's like uh, high 30s right now. and. It just changed in the past like day. So it's gonna be rough out there. The lake's turning over, it's gonna be hard. But you know, we're just gonna have to put put our heads down and keep grinding it through and see what we can put together. Just got out here on the water. Day one of practice. It's cold. I mean I haven't fished in the cold in the hot minute. It's pretty windy. As you can tell. About to go out here, give it our all, spend a lot of time out here and uh, hopefully find some stuff here for the tournament. We're still gonna have get to come out here tomorrow. But uh, I just want to come out here, look at as many things as possible, and put together something. And I just grind it out today. I mean, it's pretty cold, but that, that's no excuse. We're gonna, we're gonna get out here. I literally see like 10 fish under me as we speak. Look at that. What's up, guys? First, I'd like to, huge apology. You know, today was the first day of practice. I'm actually very, I'm, I'm very happy with it. You know, today went very well um, for what we we're looking for ran as much as we could you know we got out there around six seven and um stayed all the way till five which is as long as we could um and you know we had a good time it was good out there found a good plan found a backup plan everything was going good um i did not film much today and the reason i didn't film much today is because of i, I needed to get a lot done i really needed to you know search 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 and get a lot of stuff you know look at all these spots and look at everything um that i really needed to look for it and i was just grinding so much guys i was 
putting time, putting time, putting time, and I feel so bad because I really want to record a lot. You know, I could add some cool fish catches. Hi. How are you? It's good. Is this your shot? Yes, ma'am. Would you please not hunk it for Red House? I've got a three-year-old. Oh, yeah. Of Thank you actually, so much. What happened is, uh, I actually have a train horn. Okay. And they wired it to I just don't want you to. Thank I don't you. want you to think I did it on purpose. Thank you. Okay. Of course, yeah. You have a good one. That's really funny. <laughs> have a good one. Well, that was awkward. So as you guys know, I got a train horn. They wired it today to my regular horn. It's usually a button that I press on the side, but they wired it to my regular horn today. And every time I unlock my car, it beats my horn. So every time I unlock and lock my car now, it's hitting the train horn. And she literally just ran half a mile down here to tell me to not honk my horn when I wasn't meaning to. So my bad, I didn't mean to. But um, anyways, guys, this is this is not the topic. So today went very well. Um, tomorrow I'm going to make sure I record. I'm going to make sure I record as much as possible to show you guys what's going on during the tournament. As you guys know, you guys are watching this on Thursday. Tournament starts tomorrow, which is Friday. And um, Saturday is the second day of the event. Hopefully it's going to be awesome. We're going to search a lot tomorrow on a whole different part of the lake and hopefully find what we really need to find. Um, like I said, I've been grinding a lot, trying to get as much done as possible. And um, I just like to thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you guys are grinding every single day, guys. I hope you guys are grinding, putting into work every single day. I literally was on the water today for like 11 hours. Turned around from getting off the water. Went and got my hair cut because that's what I had to do. And then right from there, I drove straight to the gym and now I'm home and it's like 1045 at night and I got to edit this video and get it ready for you guys because I love you guys so much. And then I'm going to get up at five o'clock, get everything rolling. And just because guys put 110% effort or whatever you're doing, I still have a little bit of homework I need to do tonight as well. But I just want you guys to strive to overachieve, be the best that you can be, change this world, promote positivity, and just keep grinding, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm going to be recording as much as possible throughout this whole tournament, and hopefully we'll get a lot of footage. But I'm going to be sure I record for you guys tomorrow. Mark my words. You're listening to me right now. I will record and show you guys what I'm doing to find these fish. It's going to be an awesome video. But thank you guys so much for the support. Stay tuned for Sunday's video, which is going to be what I'm filming tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Nigga said, said.